Hello friends, in this tutorial I'll talk about how to modify VIP. So there might be a requirement in your project to change the IP address associated with the REC VIP and how do you change it. So before changing I just want to show you how to find the VIP. You will use a command called srvctl config node apps minus a and this one will show you the node name and associated VIP. So currently the VIP name is this and the node address is this and it is this particular configuration is on node 1 because you can see here it is mentioned DB1 and on node 2 we have got this particular VIP. So you can see and instead of getting the full output what we can do is like we can use our grab command to just show you our VIP addresses. So you can see right now on my screen you will be able to see we have two VIPs configured the 111 and 112. So this is the one whip and another whip is 112. This whip is on node 1. So if I show you if config grep inet you should be able to see that 111 is on node 1 which is here and 112 is this is the another whip which is associated with node 2. So if I go to node 2 this is my node 2 you can see 112 that's the another whip and what I would do as I will also show you using this so let me show you the properties okay and you can see I have used the whip address 112 and if I do the test you can see it is getting successful and now if I say connect if I try to connect okay I should be you can see that I have connected to the database so using the whip whip 112 so what we will try to do is like I'll try to change this whip to from 112 to 162 and how do you do that so you have two methods literally one is you can use srvctl modify command and when you specify that modify command you will specify what is your uh, new VIP address and then you will give the net name so I'll I'll do this so this is the first method we I have another method also so I'll show you just one method to start with so let me just before show, uh, changing, let me show it to you what is the way we anyway we have already seen it but for you know so that we can have so you can see 111 and 112. So I am going to take this command srvctl modify whip which node what is the address and then net number okay. So let me take this okay and put it here and if this command gets successful then we will run the same command one more time to check. Okay, so looks like it got successful and now if I say 111 and 162, so instead of 112, now I have got whip of 162 and I can verify that now I will not have 112 up and running, I will have 162 using ifconfig command and you can see I no longer have 112, I have 162. So using srvctl modify whip, we have changed the whip address. So now if I Anyway, I'll try to disconnect. Obviously, the disconnect will take some time because the VIP, I have the connection, it is trying to disconnect to old database and that particular connection doesn't exist. So that's what it is trying to do. So it's going to take some time. Give it a minute. And then what I'll do, okay, and then I will say go to properties one more time and I'll try to test. And you can see, okay, I, this connection completed and you can see I'm not able to connect because I have specified the old VIP address, 112. And we have changed it this 112 we have changed to 162 so let's give a try so this is not working so let's give a try uh, to connect to the new whip so if you see test okay successful and let me save this and then let me connect and if the connection goes successful you can see that using 162 using the new whip we have so this was the method where we changed our whip so what is the other method so what i'm going to do now is other method is I'm going to stop the whip okay and I'm going to remove the whip associated if you stop the whip and start the whip after modifying the etc it will still take the old headers so what we will do is like we will modify the uh, modify the whip address uh, we'll remove it we will modify etc host and then we will add the whip so now what what we need to do be because I have changed this over here okay so let me modify our etc host which was which is still pointing so let me clear it vi etc host okay and let me now because i'm going to remove the 162 so let me remove this okay <clears throat> and then let me stop the whips 
okay before doing all of that i'll do all of this together so here clear and all of this together so i'm okay config not apps shows 111162 then i stopped the whips on both the nodes i have removed the whips from both the nodes so that's done now if i try to do this i sh i will get only the physical ip i will not get the okay this is the subnet ipv4 and you can see that i no longer have the whip address listed so i have removed them so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change so i wanted to change it from 111162 to 171 and 172 so that what that's what i wanted to do so vi etc host i will change this both the addresses so i'm going to change it to 171 and i will change this to 172 okay so that's i've done this on node 2 so similar changes we need to do on node 1 as well so vi etc hosts i am changing it over here okay so that's done that's done so now we i i you can see that previously i had the whip address of 111162 i have anyway stopped the whips i have removed the whips so i no longer have any whips right now and what i'm going to do using the add whip command and start so the method is we will rem we remove the whip and we are now adding back and here i am specifying the address from my etc host so i'm and then we will see what whip address comes back online so take a look at this okay i'm going to run all okay let me run it here so i'm going to run all four commands together okay so i'm adding the whips so i have added the whips then i'm starting the whips okay and then finally config node apps okay and you can see previously my whip address was 111162 now it is 171 172 so we have effectively changed the whip address using etc host okay so we using using this particular method okay using the stop and remove and add and start method we have successfully modified our whip so uh, in this particular tutorial i showed you the two ways we can do we can use srvctl modify or we can srvctl remove and add and i have configured the whips and you can see if i do now i have config grep minus inet you should be able to see now i have the new whips up and running which is 171 so 171 on node 1 and if i run this command on node 2 you should be able to see that i got 172 so this was a short tutorial on how to change your whip address uh, and we as 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 i said we used two different methods whatever you want to you know if you have luxury to uh, disconnect from all the sessions disconnect from the client connection go ahead and use remove and add or you can use srvctl modify command and that answers your question how to modify whip in rsc environment i hope this tutorial was useful thank you for watching and see you in next video bye bye